NVIDIA's new GPU is going to sell out extremely quickly. We got an update regarding some MSI motherboards alongside the wireless MSI motherboard being available on Amazon. Updates regarding the AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE, AMD's next generation AI GPU. Microsoft is going to be releasing their own super resolution. NVIDIA samples two new AI GPUs. And then I'm sure you're all aware of this at this point, but NVIDIA did end up releasing a new control panel. First article that we're going to be covering here is regarding the AI GPU from NVIDIA. They are delighted that the supply for Hopper architecture products is improving. Demand for Hopper is still remaining very strong. We can expect our next generation products to be supply constrained as demand far exceeds supply. I'm very interested in AI, so that's really why I wanted to share this. I'm going to try to get my hands on a B100 and test it out for gaming just to see what it actually is capable of when it comes down to playing video games. So yeah, look out for that because I am I think that that's going to be pretty cool. So the next article I wanted to cover is just an update regarding the MSI motherboards. They're going to be supporting 256 gigabytes. For those of you that are unaware at CES, and I'm pretty sure they also showed this at Computex, um, all the like wires and stuff are on the back of the motherboard. So like when you're installing this, you're not gonna have to deal with like a, a whatever, the motherboard connector, the CPU connector, and all these like whatever headers and stuff. So you can see here, everything is on the back. And that's super, super cool. But the problem with this is that there, I couldn't find any cases that actually support this on Amazon. So, I mean, and that and on on top of that i really wish i do genuinely like the msi logo being all lit up in rgb right there i think that that looks super cool but other than that that's really all i need to say about this it's actually a pretty decent price as well like that's not super expensive forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it but if i do not say it like one percent of you will actually do it like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff so AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE is going to be launching globally on February 27th, 2024, obviously, and it's going to cost $550. AMD's next generation MI400 AI GPU is expected in 2025. The MI300 AI GPU refresh is in the works. So really, that's all I need to say about this. There's not much else in this article. There's no like super like specky like type of stuff but there is a paragraph that says that the amd's next generation instinct mi400x is going to take the ai gpu battle directly to nvidia and its next generation blackwell b100 ai gpu where we should expect major upgrades in ai performance from both the new ai accelerators hbm 3e memory offers a 50 percent increase in speeds over the hbm3 with up to 10 terabytes per second of memory bandwidth per system and five terabytes per second of memory bandwidth per chip with memory capacities of up to 141 gigabytes HBM3E memory per GPU. I genuinely am curious to what these are going to perform like at, like inside of a gaming computer because I do want to test that out because I love AI, dude. And I really do. I uh, Dude, I use it for my thumbnails all the time. It's called Brandy. I get that question all the Why are you using AI for your thumbnails? Because it saves me like it saves me like an hour and a half making a thumbnail. Do you understand how difficult it is to use Photoshop and Lightroom and make the colors the exact? If you haven't noticed, there's orange and blue or like some sort of like warmer color and then a blue there on the left and right. And then there's the GPU in the middle. Do you understand how long it would take me to do that with Photoshop and Lightroom? It would take a very long time. So yes, I do use AI. I don't understand why people complain about that. Well, like, I saw it was like that thing with Microsoft. The, the like, it was like, actually, it was probably a little over a month ago at this point. Like, Microsoft released a photo that was generated by AI about a game, and everybody like lost their crap with it. Why complain about that? It's literally their own program. I just, it just baffles me, dude. Like, I don't understand why. I, I love AI. I think it's cool as hell. Eventually, we're literally, you know, that like, I know I'm getting off topic here, so I'm actually going <laughs> to, I'm going to get back to the actual video. We'll, we'll continue the, my little rant in, 
in a different thing. I just don't understand it, dude. I just, I think AI is cool. I think AI is going to help us improve a bunch of different stuff. And it just doesn't make sense to me why people are complaining about it. So Microsoft is present direct SR super resolu resolution at GDC 2024. In simple terms, this is just going to be Microsoft's version of DLSS and then AMD's FSR. So that's really all I need to say about that. But it is kind of cool that we, that Microsoft is going to be doing this as well. Again, AI, that's literally what that is. Hello, do you not like, do you not like playing your game at a higher frame rate? Yeah, but it bumps down the quality a little bit, but it's like barely noticeable, man. So like you go from 60 FPS at 4K max settings to like 120 FPS. Like, and it looks like it literally looks the same. And are you seriously going to tell me how many of you have actually used it? NVIDIA is, I haven't used FSR, so I have no idea about AMD, but DLSS, dude, I can't tell a difference. Then again, I'm not, I don't play most of my games on my TV. I'm playing my, most of my games on my, my, whatever. I think it's a 24 inch 4k monitor. So if it bumps down the resolution a little bit, bro, it's a little puny 4k monitor. Dude. It's not like I'm playing on a, a hundred inch TV. I can't tell the difference, but anyways, man, like that's AI. That's literally AI. You know what I mean? So anyways, Nvidia samples, two new AI GPUs for China, both complying with us export restrictions. Nvidia is reportedly gearing up to release two new AI GPUs for the Chinese market, which the company wants to see continued market share growth in China. I know I totally read that incorrectly. You see this guy right here, you see, you notice how bad this is what I'm saying about all the AI stuff. You notice how bad everybody's AI photos are. I'm getting good at it. I like it. It's cool to learn how to add prompts into these programs. And like, how many how many more AI ones do we have here? Where's the other one? Look at that. That's a terrible AI photo. Look at that. That's garbage. I don't like the way that looks. That looks stupid. All right. And then we have this one. That look, I don't like the way that looks. And now if I come over here and I show you all my AI photos, look at this. Look at the difference in quality, bro. Look at the difference in it. Those are the ones that I generated today because <laughs> I don't know what one I'm going to use for this video. <laughs> uh, but anyways, dude, that's really, that's all I need to say about this. Um, I don't know. I, I know I keep nerding out with AI. This is the one I was at. Um, so yeah, AI, China, whatever. And then lastly, the new, whatever GeForce experience stuff that it is very, very cool. I don't, is my, uh, let me see if my i really hope i don't corrupt oh what word it, it it will let me hold up okay i'll show you guys this hold on so this is like the like this is where it pops up you got your record you got your instant replay your screenshot your photo mode your highlights your game filter and then this right here is your settings and how i got this to pop up is i just hit alt r or alt z and this is like the new where it used to be like right here in the center and you can hit record and stuff. And then if I come here, this is the new interface with it. It's yeah, it's got your home. It's got your drivers. It's got your graphics and you, like your settings and stuff. I swear Fortnite is not the only game I have installed. I don't know why my other games I am just so are clear. These are all free games. This one's funny. This is so funny. And then both. Super Meat Boy, I forgot to put that in there. This one's free on the Epic Game Store, by the way. Super fun, yeah, super fun game. But uh, so, and then you got your redeem, and then you got all your settings and stuff for like what your computer is. So yeah, dude. I mean, overall, I think it's pretty cool. It's nice that you're not for for me specifically too, dude, because it's gonna be cool that I'm actually able to build computers and I don't have to like sign in to GeForce Experience and crap nonstop, you know? Um, or yeah, GeForce Experience. I'm confused about their streaming service for a second there. But anyways, boys and girls, end of video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you actually like AI too. Because if you don't actually like AI, I'll stop covering it. But like, I don't know, man. I think it's cool as hell. But peace.